Hey guys, about a year ago, I did a video review of this Brenite PT-18 flashlight. Excellent flashlight, I still use it all the time. Um, and probably six months after I did the review of that, the company contacted me and asked me if I do a review on this WT-01 Apollo, uh, which that video is up to on the channel. Uh, again, a great flashlight. Well, same company just reached out to me again, and this light is not officially released yet, so it is a prototype or a sample model, uh, but this is the PT-28. Uh, basically, it's like the baby brother to the PT-18. So first off, uh, what all is included is you get the flashlight, there's an 18650 battery that's already in it that's included. Get this tactical ring pocket clip. Pretty decent holster. It's got a swivel clip on it. It's got a really good uh, clasp down there. It really goes over the belt and hooks on well. Uh, it's got a spare battery holder. So pretty decent holster. You get a couple extra O-rings. I think mine has three extras in it. Uh, get a lanyard. And the charging cable and it is magnetic and I'll show you that here in a bit. Uh, mine also came with a gift. Uh, so they included this little pouch. There's a thank you note to me here. And then a bottle opener slash nail clipper key ring. So thank you for that Brennite. Uh, so we'll get into some details on the light here. So let me say that this is not for sale yet. So I have no idea what the pricing is gonna be on this. As you can see, it is a sample, not for sale. Uh, Brenite, over the last year and something, has they've become really well known in like the online forums and then the flashlight Facebook groups. Uh, uh, just the the craftsmanship and like the attention to detail on their lights is phenomenal. Even stuff like uh, putting like a logo and stuff like that in the on the rear switch. Most people just leave a black button back there and. Uh, just all the milling, uh, their their lights, the the quality of them is top notch. It, they really are excellent lights. Um, this is actually my favorite design of light. So basically, there's a side switch, but it actually doesn't do anything at all um, unless the light is on. And so to power it on, it's just this rear button here, and now you can see the light is on. So you got a low, medium, high turbo. And it's basically uh, 10 lumens, 60 lumens, 360 lumens, and 1600 lumens. And because this is a sample, I actually don't have any manuals or um, so a lot of the stuff I'm just kind of finding from other users who have who've actually tested this so far. Uh, but once it's turned on, if you want to go through the different outputs, uh, you just hit the side button then. And as you can see, that is blistering bright. It's crazy how bright that thing gets on turbo. Uh, run times are pretty good too. Uh, basically, it's it's like almost 6,000 minutes on that lowest setting. Um, it's over 900 minutes on the 60 lumens. It is a couple hundred minutes on the uh, 360 lumens. And then on the highest turbo, it runs for a minute straight and then it steps down and I don't know what it actually steps down to, uh, but then it runs for quite a while on the step down. Besides the uh, four brightness levels, you can also have strobe and SOS and that can be accessed from any, any level. Like right now I'm on the lowest setting and just by double tapping, it goes into the strobe. You double tap again and it'll go into the uh, SOS. The SOS, the lumen output, is much, much lower than what it was on strobe. I, again, I don't know what the the actual output is. I can just tell that it's, it's less than what it was on the strobe. It's almost closer to like the low output. Um, so I'm guessing somewhere between 10 and 60 on the, on the uh, SOS. And then again, to shut that off, you just push that button back there. As you can see there, there's a little green light that's on on that side switch that's basically like a locator um, so that you could set it down you know and then if you, if you lose power or whatever if you're in a 10 or 
whatever it might be, that little green light will help you find it. Um, another video says that you can press it and, and turn, all, turn it off so it kind of saves your battery. But when I press mine, it does shut off, but within like five or 10 seconds, it always comes back on. Um, I've had this light for over a week and I've messed and messed and messed with it and the light always comes back on. So I'm not sure if you can actually leave it off or not without actually taking the battery out of it. But once the battery's in, that light always seems to stay on. And then if you power the light on, you can see now that that light, it just got like a brighter green. Now it does shut off, you see I just shut off while the light is being used. Um, and it's basically it's a battery indicator. So if it's green, you kind of know, like when you turn it on there, you kind of know it's like between 170%. Um, if I turned it on and that was orange, um, I would be somewhere between 70 and 30%. And if it was red, it would be somewhere between like 30 and 10%. And if it's flashing red, you're under 10% and definitely need to get the thing charged up, which is what we'll go into next. So charging is pretty straightforward and just use any USB power source. Could be a wall, could be a battery bank, whatever. Again, you can see there's a little lights on on that. And then you just find the magnetic part, clip it to it. And then can you see the red light that's there? I'm not sure if that goes out when it's done charging or if it turns green. I want to say it turns green. Um, but the way that I actually charged it when I first got it was what I really like about this is that the battery is just a regular 18650 battery. Um, so you can just put this in just a, a standard charger. It is a protected battery, um, but you can just use any. So like Olight, all their batteries, you have to use the Olight battery. You have to use the magnetic charging. You can't pull the battery out and put it in a regular charger. With, with these, you can. And you can also use two of the CR123A batteries if you don't want to use uh, an 18650 for whatever reason. It's the same power on both of them. While I have this off, another really nice feature is that this ring is removable, um, which is probably the way that I'll run it. Um, I'll most likely keep this in a uh, like a, a car bag. So, and then you can see that's what it looks like with the ring off of it. There are a couple of sources online that say that there's supposed to be two different modes that you can have for this flashlight. One being a tactical mode and one being an outdoor mode. For the life of me, I can't figure out if, if it is how to change it. I assume that I'm in a tactical mode right now. Um, and so basically you can soft press the rear button without actually clicking it on. And then you can release and then immediately go into it again and it goes into your strobe like really fast. So it's just a press and then it goes into that strobe. You can see that this thing has like a, just a perfect hot spot. Um, it has a, a really nice color to the beam on it. And the for no bigger than what the head of this is, you know, probably just an inch, it has a really wide spill to it too. It's pretty impressive what this little light can do. I'll show in some, uh, some nighttime footage here. Let me turn it on here. You can see like how perfectly round that center hot spot is. And obviously how well it lights everything up. Uh, this beam throws several hundred feet. Just really nice color to it. I did want to show you that this will mount in just a, tr a traditional one inch flashlight mount. Uh, gives you easy access to having that if you want that strobe. And so if you're looking for something that's maybe like a coyote color or that sand color, this might be a good option for you. Um, I'm not sure again if they're going to be any type of remote switches. They do have remote switches for other lights, and I can't swear that this is even like recoil rated for you know shotguns or ARs or anything. But um, I got a feeling that it is, but I haven't. I don't have any information on it. And then even with this gun, it'll close up and stay mounted on there. So that's pretty sweet. 
So I don't know when this is going to be released and I don't know pricing of it. Um, I can tell you that they usually are pretty competitively priced like um, with like Phoenix or Nightcore, uh, some of those, Olight. Um, if I had to take a guess, I'm going to say somewhere in maybe like the 70 to $80 range, um, which again, you get a quality 18650 battery, all the accessories, um, and it is a pretty bitch and light. Um, so it's definitely going to be worth that uh, with the magnetic charging and everything else you get, but very cool light. And uh, thank you, Brennite, for sending it to me to check out. And uh, you guys check it out whenever they release it. So thanks for watching. I appreciate it.